Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission, according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Your mission is to infiltrate the Fortress Galluade, rescue the hostages, and neutralize Metal Gear before its assembly is complete. Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose, what's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long? <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. Ugh. Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! What? Snake, have you ever... enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit. 
just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake... It's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Fortune. It's been a long wait. Solid Snake, the root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one, and no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting with you, Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You 
want eternal rest, I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Raiden, get out of here! Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about?! No more games, Raiden. At least you know. There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. Hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. You understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! Huh? I know I'm going to help, but at least my child... I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! <laughs> Enjoy the show, Jack. 
Let's pick up where we left off. What's going on? What's wrong with it? I... GW, it's out of control. What? Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son! <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective, then? A list of names. Of the Patriots! <gasps> they were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots' Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. 
That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> What exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to produce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training colonel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Solidus, you and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Nothing that we didn't give you. What? Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged? Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting-edge technology.
data. All I have to do is retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try! been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. To say goodbye. Damn. Like surfing, it's a good way to. Go. 
Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence, the dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule, liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father, with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an Exxon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots. And liberate us all. And we will become... The Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How's that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call 
human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths, spun by different interests, continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community, afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters.
Enjoy yourselves. Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed.
one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. What's wrong? 
Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell? I stare at the stars and the sky up above and think, what am I made of?
Thank you. 